okay, rings of time, right? Uh, I come from Sentosa, he comes from France. He's, he looks like my father, I look at the son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you can ask me my age after the, after the whole thing, right? But not now. Uh, we're not that far away though. All right, uh, anybody have been to Sentosa before? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, how many Asians here? Asians. Asians. All right. Are you, for, are you from Korea? From Samira, we have to go and eat barbecue. Man. <laughs> all right, in Singapore, all right? Send those from Singapore, all right? Uh, just give you a bit of a geographical representation of Singapore. Uh, this is Anaheim. I flew from Singapore, the little bit dot, all the way through to California. Okay, you don't, it's not this way, right? You flew the other way. All right? Uh, it's not China, all right? I went to rent a car and they asked me, are you from China? Say, uh, yeah, my forefathers are from China, not me. All right? <laughs> my forefathers come from the state of Guangzhou. So I speak Cantonese. But my mom speaks Hokkien. So in Singapore, we have all sorts of dialects. All right? So I give you an example. Uh, if I say, uh, and then we say, whenever we greet each other, we don't say, how are you? We say, all right? So we say, have you eaten? All right? So that's how Singapore greet each other in, in, in some of our, our uh, dialects, all right? So that's Singapore, right? And please don't tell any Singaporean from China, right? <laughs> this is Sentosa Island, right? Sentosa Island is on uh, the southern tip of uh, okay, supposed to keep, right? Uh, southern tip of Singapore is a very small island. It is uh, a resort island. Uh, Singapore population is about five five point five million. Uh, not a lot of us, right? Uh, and we handle about twenty million guests a year. Right, almost four times. So if every Singaporean comes to Central Park four times a year, we reach our target. <laughs> and then we don't we don't need tourists at all. Alright, Central Park is, is an integrated island. Alright, just in case you don't know, we are connected by a bridge, right? Uh you gotta pay to come in, right? We have 26 gated attractions, one mega integrated resort where we have casino, universe universal studio is there. We have 200 FMD and retail outlets, 14 hotels, total of about 3,200 rooms, and 6,000 residents in Sentosa Cove. This is the one of the most expensive place in Singapore to buy. Right? If you're interested, just call me later. <laughs> I don't take commission. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so why a night show? All right. This is the evolution of uh, night show in Sentosa. Uh, how many have been to Sentosa for the last 10 years? More than 10 years. Okay, not many of you are. I know your age now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Sentosa started to be the musical fountain where I, I didn't get to see, right? And then, and, and, I was, yeah, I was, I was still studying and sucking my thumb. Alright, so what happened was that the music fountain happened. And and it, and it, it was about five to seven years before what we call Tiki, Magical Sentosa. And uh, that's where Kenny, my friend here, got involved. Uh, somehow or rather, he got into this show, right? But from this show, he marks different business environment, business significance of a night show on Sentosa Island. And from Tiki, uh, it was a free show, right? And it was no a queue, right? Kenny. There was how a queue. What was a queue? He was just telling me last night about this three of the because I I this time. So he was telling me that wow, it took six months to actually get the operation together because the show was so good because of Kenny. Right? <laughs> and, and they were like queues. Right, I need to be Right. <laughs> and after that, what happened was that now we say, okay, I think we we should look at money Utilizing the whole show, right? Let's uh, recoup and then let's do a, a new show and get the attraction. And then we did Song of the Sea, right? And again, Kenny was again, the excellent guy who did the show. It lasted seven years, it's supposed to last for five years, and we served about eight or three million guests over the seven years. It was a success. And then the night show became very important on the island because it lengthened the stay of all of our guests, right? Because 
I think the now everybody will just go back to Singapore, main island, and then all of F and B guys were, you know, in, in Singapore we say don't mind here, pa bang, pa bang means you try to hit the mosquito, right? You only have mosquito as a guess. Right? So so we say what's next? Because seven years is a long time. So we say, look, let's do the next show. Uh all right, and uh we say let's look at how we can do a brand new show. And me and my guys got into me and then we started discussing. We did, we did our survey, we talked to tourist guests of the island about the show and say, look, what exactly do you want to see in the new show? And we were and face most one, two, three, four, five, five challenges. Right? First and foremost, uh, we have to look at how we can keep the existing guests, right? Guest profile, tourists from the different countries. And then we ask ourselves, how can we do it better to attract more guests and even attract Singaporeans to come and watch the show? So this is really one of the challenges. And the next thing is to say, look, in today's market, right, a lot of us uh, all exposed to really a lot of sci-fi movies, effects. And say, look, we, we need to we need to do a show that is that will they will have a, a future look in terms of content, the interactivity, the the storyline that connects with our more affluent uh, guests. And then we also have a challenge of uh, in ourselves: how can we make use of the current structure, which is already seven years old, and build upon it? There's only one reason for it. It's a cost. Of course, it's not cheap. <laughs> so we say, look, you have to use the existing structure. It's okay for can you give me the calculator. Then we say, how can we make use of it and build a new structure and a new show and a new story? And the other, the other challenge that was really, really hard was actually the seaside elements. Right? Song of the Sea or Wings of Time is actually built on sea. Right? So they can be of course, uh, the waves are much, uh, much gentler. Huh? It's not as, it's not as bad, but the salt content is very high. Right? Salt content is very high. And, and we ask ourselves, how can we find someone who can actually look at equipment, look at the materials that you can build on the sea? Right? And last but not least, the impossible timeline that we set. Uh, can you talk about the timeline? Because, uh, Used to have black hair like mine. After the show, he's got all grey hair, right? And less, and, and, and less, less hair, right? Less hair, right? So what? So we call for a tender, and then we caught Kenny the job. We we'll talk about the tender later. But I thought uh, Kenny will bring us through how he overcome all the challenges that we had, right? Challenges. So you call it challenges. I call it problems. <laughs> problems. Yeah. Issues. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a problem, you know. We want a new show, but we we don't want to stop the old one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't want any downtime. Okay. Minimum downtime. No. No. You said I don't want downtime. Oh yes. yes. No. Don't. <laughs> okay. I must be getting old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You will see. There you go. <laughs> I'm getting my head. So, um, for this, we had uh, a setup, which is this one here, which was a Kilong village, a um, local fisherman village, uh, which was successful for seven years, but was kind of getting old and um, was done on a quite classical way with the water screen and effects. And we wanted to bring something more modern. To keep the existing audience, but also what well, targeting new segments was to say targeting a broader audience, targeting new audiences, maybe younger, maybe older, and maybe also local people, local young people that could come also to see the show and stay, have drinks to the bar and restaurants around, make a better uh, show for all these audiences. So this we work on. A stage design, we will come back on the stage design later, but 
This is the uh, old stage design by day and the night show for, and this is the struck everything out except the main structure. And we did here a new design, which is beautiful to be seen by day, but it's also able to host a show with modern techniques and uh, being able to, to be the support of a modern show. Uh, another uh, kind of uh, discussion we had, um, so he's quite younger, as we already heard a lot since the beginning. <laughs> a few minutes and already you put it. Uh, it's like... That's me, huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, can, can do. Okay. Uh, and of course, we wanted to have a show still uh, appealing to audience, uh, maybe a love story, maybe things like this, but showing also a modern uh, way of using uh, the projection, for example, which we used a lot uh, in this in this new show. So what what I said is what was the, the, the concept was to say okay we cannot keep the backdrop first it's too old was supposed to leave for five years or six it's already been up to seven years but also it was be presenting something a bit older a bit classical and maybe not able to 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 convey this image of modernism that. Uh, the team in Sentosa wanted to have for this new show. So we also wanted to have projection, not only projection on the water, which is something we like and we use a lot in our show, but in what, which was to have also front projection, like mapping. And having mapping on the water, mapping with water and with um, uh, canon effects was also something we had. So we came up with this new setup here, uh, which is a very simple and, um, and elegant uh, by day, but which can become a real uh, support for new effects, for projection, strong projection, for a kind of 3D mapping, real projection on the water screen. And we can find some combinations like, like the bird here, where the head is appearing in the water screen and all the projections are done uh, by front, um, front uh, apparatus. So, a new content, um, but still, uh, we like a lot of animals. Yeah. Uh, we had Kiki, which was a funny monkey, which is my preferred, my favorite. Yes. Yes. Like a toy, and we had also uh, Oscar, which was uh, 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 for the for the previous show of Sound of the Sea, and now we had Shabazz, uh, who is a, a wonderful bird uh, traveling traveling through time, and this is also why the show is called Wings of Time because he's bringing uh, the kids uh, along a journey uh, through time. So this this new content. Uh, was also, um, we wanted to have a show being able to be perceived by youngest and older person. Meaning, the young people who doesn't understand the storyline, they might not be understanding the text, it's not a problem. They just sit, relax, enjoy, see wonderful images, effects. But if you want to go deeper, you have a storyline. You can rely on something. There is a story, a guy meets a girl, and something happens, and they travel through time. So if, if you want to look deeper, you can. And this is this several levels and several layers that we put together, and that St. Paul's I like. Let, let me add, actually, my son, I have son, I have son, Kenny's old son, he loves the show. Right? Because, like what Kenny say, if you don't understand the story, you actually will be wowed by these facts for the first thing. And if you are someone who can understand the story, can you appreciate the story? But I think what Kenny didn't mention about this is that I think the creative director, right, uh, Moira, mm -hmm. Moira, actually is a very artistic person. So 
she actually depicted the different era of the civilizations, the uh, different part of history of uh, the world, into an uh, artistic impression of the story, of the mapping, and putting all the effects together. So, so if you are if you belong to the more artistic side, you probably will be able to see it more obvious than the other side. So, so the whole show come into three levels, right? For everyone, for those who are the story, and also for those who want to be artistic, right? And it's also a good mix between content and between mm -hmm. the artistic and the combination with the technical element, which are here to enhance the, the artistic purpose and not only to be just nice effects given to the artist. Yeah. So as, as we say, uh, harsh environment and seawater, uh, Tentosa uh, Island is uh, on, on the seawater, which have a very high level of salt. It's a very warm water. So it's uh, nice to swim sometimes. But it brings also this result after seven years. So we, we, we also ha had to to do choices in the new materials we would be using in the uh, in the protection of the metal and to be to be able to be sure that we will bring again a, a long life enough to the new installation. And what we did finally, and we will speak about the the time frame after, but is to to, to we we remove almost everything finally. We, we, at the beginning, we hoped we could keep some part of the structure and, and reuse it. And finally, we removed everything. We just kept the basic infrastructure, which was uh, held in, inside the sea itself. And we built up on top of it uh, by pieces which were brought um, by the sea and after the, which were framed. So, and this is how we could, in a very minimum time to have we could have something working and something which was already well protected from the from the elements from the from the sea from the soul from the sun and so we could equip all with equipment so the the, the last challenge to speak about was about a, a setup record of six weeks which I think in the ten it can be right Yes, yes, and yeah. someone forced me, you know, like twisted my arm. Bring, really? Bring yes. <laughs> yes. To down to six weeks. So was that me? Uh, yes. Um, so initially we had the structure here. We wanted to peel it like a like an apple and remove all the things and cut and keep the main frame to be able to pack to put on top of it to our triangles. Finally, this was requiring too much work on site, and um, they really didn't want to stop the show. Uh, they really didn't want any, any downtime, not, not any <laughs> downtime. And finally, we built up all the structures and decoration in, in, a, in a port on the side, uh, outside of the, of the site, and really the night we stopped the old show, we already started cutting the existing structures and bringing the new the new pieces by the sea on big uh, on big barges. And we can see here uh, what it means. So we had a kind of uh, big structural works and of course a record time of six weeks, uh, which is usually at least two or two, three months in the final phase. Mm -hmm. and this is what we expected. Yeah. Then down to eight to ten weeks, or finally six weeks. Six weeks, yeah. Uh, but we had a bet. I mean, if, if I think he asked six weeks, so we could be, we could lose, and maybe <laughs> I would buy drinks, or maybe even I don't know, make a discount or something. We 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 won, okay. So he had he had to, <laughs> so I had to pay. But but maybe just a bit on why the town time is so important. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, you look at it as a business, right? And 60% of our guests are tourists, right? They are tourists from the region, right? Uh, Southeast Asia, tourists from India. And a lot of time, a lot of all these bookings are done 
much earlier to have the show as part of their itinerary. Right? So in the event if we have a long downtime, very soon the show will be dropped off from the itinerary. Right, if you imagine that. And if they start dropping off, I will have a show with very much less uh, guests. So so from the business perspective, uh, it is important for us to ensure that the downtime is kept as short as possible. Maybe zero would be the best, but it was possible, but we did a good job. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. All right. All right, that's me. That's us in, uh, in uh, media, media conference, right? Something like that, the fireside chat. All right, so there was Kenny and there was me, and okay, this is why we chose, uh, oh, this is what I'm going to talk about, why we chose ECA2, all right? Setoza is a government-linked company, right? So in all government-linked company in Singapore, we call tender, an open tender for uh, all of these projects, all right? Especially if it's a certain amount. And uh, I thought it is good for us to, to share with you uh, why did we choose, uh, why, why, why ECA2 was chosen. First thing first, Kenny came to the tender presentation by himself. And my wife, right? Just the two of them. So we faced I think about eight of us questioning him from from A to Z. Right? Of course there were other ten other uh, companies that came to us and they were huge, you know, they were like five, eight of them and they brought effects, they brought a uh, smoke machine, alright, to smoke us out during the tender interview. And go right, but I, I have to say that uh, Santosa was uh, was was very impressed with uh, ECA two for for a couple of reasons. First thing first is the creativity, right? Through the storytelling of uh, Moira and Kenny, actually we, we saw how ECA two could bring a chaotic curation of the story and how they could integrate effects. Second thing is that because of the understanding of C elements. Right, uh, they managed to tell us what kind of equipment and how are they going to protect the equipment from seawater. And not only that, also from the air. The air is full of uh, salt content. And last but not least is the operations. Uh, in Singapore, uh, it is hard to find uh, people working in our industry. Right? Uh, in some of the sea, we have cast members. Right? Uh, we do have the luxury of having Hundreds and hundreds of people marching down the street on a parade. It's hard for us to on a daily basis. Uh, and, and we saw a, a, a solution that was very easy for us to operate. So on a day to day basis in the control room, I only have two guys to press a button and the other guy to stand by on the message. If the show fails. It have happened, nah? it have happened because there was so much redundancy that Kenny has built it. So, so in terms of operations and in terms of getting people to do the show, it's very easy. It was a one button show. And so they did it. Right. So uh I think and, and this is a result.
so this is this is what it looked like finally. And uh, as we had a short time for production and for the final phase, we had to go through simulations. We couldn't do any mock-up. We didn't have, even have time to do any mock-up. But we've got quite experience in representing the show as it could be. And we can see here some uh, artist view on the top, which were presented at the tender uh, moment. And we can see uh, in the line in the uh, down, step down, which is in fact the, the real pictures which was taken. So we can see how it's looking even better. I think it's looking better, right? I think what's important, what's, what's important here as a client is that, you know, in all tender presentations, you know, who is worried about whether the pictures is going to turn out the way it will be, right? And there's always the headache of the worries of all the clients. And I would say that, you know, wow, all right, it's even better than the actual photos or pictures that you can do through the tender. Yes. yes. So we had a we had a, a hard time, a short moment for production. Six weeks. We had a month. We had a very good um, connection. We we heard also from the previous presentation uh, with the Korean company that uh, uh, a, a very deep link between the producer and and the client is important to be able to reach uh, this level of understanding. And and we could we, we could do it we could do it by this partnership we had uh, all along the course. Yeah. So what are the takeaways for all of us? First thing first is I think when we look at attractions, uh, we actually harness the commercial potential and get out of the whole thing. So what Wings of Time have done for us is not just to anchor the night attraction, the night time itinerary for our guests. The people surrounding the show, like our F&D guys, our retail guys, the other attractions, actually benefited from the guests who actually stay, uh, stay longer on the island. Actually. Second of all, I think we learned that uh, when we built something, we built for more than what's worth for. And last but not least, I thought uh, it's important to just share that uh, creating a win-win partnership. Right? I will have uh, Penny to talk about that because I, I stress him a lot, so I feel he has a lot to say. <laughs> we have no time. I'm sorry. We we'll okay. about it. <laughs> okay. No. So yes, um, we will switch our roles, and I, I will speak about this this last sentence here. Um, the show, the previous show, wa was attracting about one million visitors uh, per year, uh, paying paying audience, which was their fear. It's to keep this, and already uh, with this new show, we had at least. Uh, the same audience and even more because we even have 10 percent higher uh, attendance so it was for this for our partnership mm -hmm. for this and for having a CA award it was a success thank yeah, you very much thank you we we actually have time for just one Short question. We've got plenty of media companies and production companies in the room. We even have a designer who's also done a show about birds in the eye. Does anybody have anything they'd like to ask? That's it. Yeah. Quick question. I'm just curious. Do the fountains use fresh water? I'm assuming instead of, or they use salt water as well. You guys are great. Everything is in salt water. Everything is a stainless steel 316 or 904. Everything is treated with paint to last for years. That was a that was why I the presentation No, it Alright. Okay, let's let's move. Okay. Thank you, thank you thank very much. much. <laughs> thank you.